Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We are going to check out some named locations. Something else I'd like to do in this run, although I guess I have mechanical wings, I could actually get away with it maybe, is uh, potentially trying to de defeat a Deca Slime or a, one, a 10 Slime. I, don't, I think it's Deca Slime. It's one of the hardest achievements in this game. Um, but the, before we do that, I'm going to have to do Bethesda Sousa. I basically am going to need to acquire every liquid in Cud, which is a very Caves of Cud sentence, by the way. Um, but in the ne meantime, let's go ahead and switch off uninvited or un unvisited only named locations and see what's available. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Oh, wait, what? What? Name locations, unvisited on only. I'm not really seeing anything. I see these two over here. Scientist home. The hydro, there's the hydropon. Um, Echopad. These, the, there's these two over here, but I already knew about them. I hope that mapped pins isn't broken. Name locations. Oh, wait a minute. Oops. I'm, an, I'm a big dummy. Not name locations. Historical sites. Unvisited on only. There we go. Now, now we have more going on. Okay, so do we want to check out... Whew, do we want to check out a historical site in the Rainbow Wood? I'm pretty sure that is in the Rainbow Wood and not in the jungle. You know what I'm going to do is I am going to check out... Um, I have this extra... I have this extra recoiler that I wouldn't mind ch checking out, but I think what I actually like to do is go to the six day stilt because I have a lot of books and I've got a lot of stuff and I wouldn't mind um, getting rid of some of it. We could check out our gunsmith. I have a laser um, pistol and I wouldn't mind getting another one. And we also have a nuclear cell, so that would kind of take care of the whole energy situation. Oh, we're famished. Um, it, upgrading to laser pistols from what we have would be kind of nice. I don't know how much of an upgrade it would be. Can't stand that these uh, dromads like to wander so much. I am looking for not 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 finding a dromad. Where is the dromad? He's some, somewhere up here, maybe? There he is. Dromad, you better not move. Okay. This is a, a good Dromad. In fact, they're selling some boots. And I think, yeah, we could definitely use those boots. So let's go ahead and buy those. Um, I'm already wearing mechanical wings. So selling the second pair of mechanical wings is totally fine. So is selling the magnetized boots. I'll keep the scaled cloth robe. That would be uh, worthwhile. In the future, uh, we have some canned have it all. My my love or even curiosity of canned have it all is all but dead. Honestly, we'll sell the kudzu stem. Um, oh, we have a ton of stuff to sell here. I don't know. It almost feels exploitative that I have. Uh, that that mod that lets you know auto picks up daggers almost feels semi exploitative. You let me know in the comments if maybe uh, you'd like to see me not use that in the future. Sniper rifle. We could sell the sniper rifle, but um, we actually have already like far overseeded the. Uh... Let's buy a couple of herb berries. Full right battle axe. Oh, that's a battle axe. I don't know why I thought that that was going to be good for us. Let's buy some trade goods. Now we want to sell some stuff. We'll sell the painted chrome revolver. And do I want to sell the sniper rifle? I mean, I definitely don't want the sniper rifle, but I'm wondering if it would be better uh, given to the mechanimists. Um, well, I definitely don't want to end up in deficit here. We could trade the bronze nugget. I believe it is a lot heavier, 
So yeah, let's get rid of the bronze nugget. The bronze nugget is tends to be heavier than um, a lot of other trade goods for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, we could let's buy this fermented yonder cane. Oh, and the congealed Hulk honey is a is a is a good in. And um, then we're we're kind of good here. One fifty nine. We also, I mean, like, aside from the Stromad, we do have a recoiler for Eid Freehold. So not really a, you know, it, it doesn't really make a big difference uh, selling or buying from this specific Dromad. So we have this Merkud recoiler. But um, what I want to do is, what I'm going to do is leave. And I want to check out some of the Skem uh, sellers. Unfortunately, this takes a bit longer because it's going to um, save every single time I do it. This is generally a good way of uh, saving a bit of time. Also, because it comes up a lot, and I am asked generally every time I use it, um, if you press the backspace, you will be able, you'll get the little dialogue that shows you um, all of the important or notable people and uh, objects in uh, a tile, so that's how I keep using, you know, how I how I keep auto moving. Scopes, that wouldn't be a bad thing to have at all. I actually would really like to have that. Kind of want to sell the nylon body pack, which I never thought I would consider. Um, what do we have a lot of servings of that I could sell? Yuckwheat stem, maybe. Um, certainly spine fruit jam. Well, we don't have a lot of that. We have some star apple jam. I could, I could certainly, we could almost pay for it with star apple jam. Yeah, that that works. There, perfect. Um, and I'd like to check out the other skim cell seller. And I guess we wanted to check out the gunsmith, don't didn't we? Jax. Okay, is this the is this the one? When equipped by a robot, cyborg, or mutant with the ability Ah, this is the one. So we need this. It requires Tinker 2. We need it though. This is going to be really good for us. I'm also tempted by that solar cell. Oh, visage is actually really good as well, right? Um, Visored is also really nice. Oh no, it just had plus one DB. Never mind. Okay, so I know I want Jacked for sure. Uh, I don't necessarily need night vision goggles. For some reason, I'm able to see, so that's fine. I don't think I took night vision, but never mind. Um, ba -ba -ba. can oh can we? Do we have, I wonder, do we have to modify the cell to have the jacked modifier? Is the thing I'm wondering right now. Because if you do, because then we could just like have a bunch of cells that are like um, kind of passively draining on our electricity. And uh, I, I guess it must be the tool itself, doesn't it? Someone's going to let me know. I'd appreciate that actually. All right, so now we're gonna leave one more time and I wanna visit the gunsmith and then also the, the main um, church. Also, someone did let me know that uh, it tells you in brackets the basically where in the Parasang an item or object is or like a town. So um, this whole like extra steps I've been doing to figure out where a, a location is in order to, to follow a quest is completely unnecessary. So don't don't listen to me. Um, good to know. Okay, so they don't have anything interesting. This is a, you know, these are, these are good things to know. Okay, so now we're going to go to the arrival location, and then we're, I, I don't know if we have any rest chef lore. I'm going to hand it in nonetheless. Hello. Hello, child. What do, what do you want? What? Why? Is that, what's up? What's up? Do you want attention? 
I know what he wants. He wants food. All right, so do we have any? No, we don't have any, okay. So let's go. We could also, I don't know, we could trade some stuff for a ju uh, to the jeweler. We, we do have quite a lot of trade goods. Um, we're at level 20. This is probably not a good thing to do now, but I'm going to do it. And it didn't even level us up, so whatever. Um, okay, I'm going to check. I know I've been doing a lot of not anything, really. But I'm going to check to see if I can sell anything. Because they have a lot of good, good trade stuff. And I wouldn't mind grabbing it. I guess I already sold all my major stuff. We could sell, like, the sniper rifle. Which is, that's 12 pounds right there. So that's, you know, no slouch. We could sell all of the braided, uh, beaded bracelets. Oh, that, that'll that do it, actually. That's perfect. And, I mean, yeah, it is worthwhile to um, sell one kind of trade trade good for another kind of trade good. Actually, let's keep the sniper rifle. Perfect. Because we're essentially trading in, like, how much was that? Two, four, five. That was, like, 11, 12 pounds, 12-ish pounds, maybe, um, for, like, three pounds. So we save quite a bit of weight. And I'm not using my general um, nylon body pack anymore. So it's good to kind of conserve s some space. All right. What were we going to do next? It wasn't going to be Bethesda Sousa, I'll tell you that much. It could be Asphalt Mines. Oh, no, I know what it was going to be. It was going to be, we were going to check out wh wh where this recoiler goes. Do I have enough XP or skill points to take tinkering? I think I do. Tinker one. Uh, ooh. Item mod woolly. That's actually quite nice. Stasis grenade is also quite nice. But I, I think woolly is, is really nice. Okay, um, tinker two is going to be a while. How much... All right, so it's going to be a few levels from now. I don't think I want to waste any attri attribute points on intelligence, so oh, that means that we're not going to be able to use our jacked mod for quite a while. Is that right? Yeah, okay. So that's kind of a bummer. Can we learn scoped, though? We can. And we can learn woolly. We're going to be carrying jacked for a while, though. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to go to this uh, Merc HUD re recoiler. I don't know where this is going to take me. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, you discover Merc HUD. Okay, so it was... Oh, it was for a ruin. Interesting. I'm going to get some more books, hopefully. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on here. This seems to be... I think... I thought it was maybe in the jungle, but it seems to be more likely in this swamp. More books, which is quite nice. Quillipede, which is quite meh. All right, that's it. And we are, where are we? We are in the jungle, okay. So, um, maybe we want to do some ruin diving. I'm thinking that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Why don't, you know what, let's go to Grit Gate. Doing a lot of uh, jumping around the map today. We're gonna go to Great Gate, and I'm gonna go up stairs, and then we're going to go to the ruin, just directly like northeast. Sorry, northwest, not northeast. And we're gonna do a little bit of ruin diving, and hopefully we will not die. So the problem, this, the problem with the ruin diving is the same problem with, um, we need to kill this lad, is the same problem with the asphalt mines, is it's very easy to take on more than you can chew. Um, you know, the, the ruins, they don't really stop. They are unique um, than, the, you know, outside of the bounds of the normal cud. Um, exploration in that the like staircases they don't stop coming 
they, they, they keep on coming and they don't stop coming and they will eventually destroy you. There's no, there's no ifs or buts about it, you know? So you have to um, display a little bit of, you have to do a very difficult thing as a Caves of Cud player. You have to just, you know, show some restraint. Know when to cut and run. It's a really difficult thing to do, but it is probably and possibly the most important skill you can learn in cut, which is when to stop. <laughs> Not just oh, there's a there's a saw hander. There you go. Nice. Good to not have to deal with that. And I am going to deal with this lad as well. That's um, still a nice chunk of XP. Not just, uh, when I say stop, not, not just like stop and, and leave. But also, um, oh no. We're in a jungle ruin apparently. Ugh. We're going to stay on the staircase. This is absolutely the worst. Those saps are no no fun either. Oh my god. What is there? I think there's maybe a legendary hanging around. Okay, we're we're leaving. I don't I'm not uh, I'm not going to necessarily stop yet, but uh, I'm not I'm not a huge fan of what is happening down there. You know what? Temporal Fugue time. How about that? Um, do I have slam? Did I take slam? I did. It's F5. Okay. A little bit concerned about those seed throwers. Okay, yep, we gotta go. Alright. What what is uh what is my lad doing there? Alright. We should be good to go back down and temporal fugue. I I say oh I see, there's someone blocking the stairs. Okay, temporal fugue. There we go. Um, we are getting a no, like, insignificant XP from from these goat folk lads. So this is, uh, you know, not without its benefits. We're just gonna absolutely turbo stun that slumberling and and say good night to them. Um, floating glow spheres are a really good boon from us. Do not have missile weapons equipped. Why not? What's going on there? Oh, that's right. I said no to weapons, didn't I? That's why I have that laser pistol unequipped. And the reason being, and it was, I think, a smart choice on my end, was that uh, when I temporal fugue, my temporal fugue clones are going to, um, they're not going to have the option of missing and hitting me. And instead, they're going to have laze. And laze is a much better option. So I actually, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Previous me was actually very intelligent when it came to uh, the choice for me to not, don't, you can't trust myself. <laughs> it really do be that meme where it's, it's the kid holding the pistol up against himself. Uh, you know, don't trust anyone, not even yourself, especially not yourself. There's an unshelled reptile that I just, destroyed so we are um this is acid we are we we have resistance to, to, to acid which is nice unfortunately these saps the worst thing about these saps is they do drain all of your devices it's not a great thing fortunately we're not really uh relying on devices for our major power output And eventually, we, we won't have to worry too much about that at all, because we'll have um, electrical just discharge as an option. I feel like I actually diverted one of their blows. I think one of the added passives 
to Lay's is you can occasionally um, whip back a, a, a beam. Um, do, 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 do. 34% chance to reflect light based attacks. That's not that's nothing to sneeze about. That's actually really good. For like a passive ability. And remember, that's not even my like native ability. I don't I don't genuinely have light manipulation. I have a bracelet. Which still is one of the coolest uh like relics I've ever gotten. So this is not a good thing, is it? Luckily, I've got the recoiler for Kya Kya Kya. Um, fungal infections should not be a big problem, hopefully. It is not a great idea to what I'm doing, basically. What is that? Is that? Oh, oh a wine weep. A wine weep also in a chair. It's a shame a lot of this wine got uh, ruined by the asphalt. It's a dang shame. <laughs> okay, well, we don't want to proc this uh, little mushroom fella. Oop. I'm going to intervene occasionally from my uh, AI's exploration to say, hey, by the way, there's a mushroom over there, and um, we don't know what kind of spores they are going to inflict us with so let's uh let's maybe not an acid weep that could be useful i'm pretty sure acid is actually a, a, a not a terrible resource to have let's collect that you have nothing to oh that's right because you need to have um something to contain it in right there was someone i was going to make friends with i can't remember who taken damage from the acid this is fine this uh this floor oh this floor kind of sucks that sap absolutely drained me unfortunately i don't like this area at all <laughs> there's a lot of hidden kind of areas uh, like you know peppered uh, with mushrooms, this is this is terrible. I am 100% gonna get spored. Yeah, there it is. Do we not have a staircase down yet? Where is our staircase down? Hmm. Okay, we're gonna check in here. I have to destroy some mushrooms in order to check this area oh I'm very glad I did that well I guess I'm kind of glad I did that crocusins I think I've already got the crocusins um okay there's another area over here I oh no Ouch, they did some nasty damage to us and we have itchy skin. Very good. Um, all right, well, temporal fugue time, I think. And I'm also going to take some meds, take some witchwood bark. I don't think we are in immediate danger. I could be wrong. Okay, well the good news is they're stunned and I think they're dead now uh, I do have itchy skin so I'm gonna have to deal with that we're now gonna play the game of uh, how much do we want to explore before I go to Kya 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 I still don't have a staircase this place is re oh there it is okay now that we have the staircase I'm going to recoil to Kya 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 do we have a we don't have a cell in Kya Kya Kya, okay. Do we have an extra energy cell? We do, all right. Trinket, no, tools. Uh, install, we don't wanna do the nuclear cell. Activate.
Let's um, drink mold mushroom cider. 75% chance that itchy skin doesn't develop into a fungal infection. I'm not sure what that means. 75% chance per round? Look, if I wait long enough, is it going to... Uh, I feel like I, I'm gonna have to wait. I think I had this. I had this kind of down to a science. It was like 700 turns. Your skin itches. Your skin itches. So I mean, this might not be a very effective way of doing this. Um. I feel like what would be better is still the star apple jam and uh, vine wreath because the thing is is that that is something you can you can guarantee that you won't get um, you won't have to deal with the, the fungal infection. The problem is, is I don't have the carbide chef yet, so um, I don't have the recipe that removes itchy skin basically so I think I worked it out um, that it was like 1300 turns is a full day or something like that I, I, I don't like that this is happening because 75% chance is a lot worse than 100% chance and if I had my yeah well, that's the worst case scenario there, isn't it? All right, well, that's that's kind of the last time I rely on that recipe. That's really frustrating. It had to be fickle gill, didn't it? Just about anything else, I would have been like, eh, that's not a big deal. We can deal with that. Had to be fickle gill. It had to be on our hand as well. I, that is, that is such a bummer. Did I sell my Corpus Callias? I did. I, I don't say, I, not sell, sorry, I gave it away. Um, do you have another one? No. Ah, uh, fantastic. <laughs> Yo, there's a lot of things happening right now and none of them are great. A lot of them are bad, actually. Um, let's go home. I want to go home. Camp cell, activate. We gotta go back to the six day stilt. Uh, and I'm gonna go and read the Corpus Callias at the, at the library. It's not hard if you have a library card. I disagree. It is in fact very difficult. I'll check out these ruins real quick. Real quick. Nickel Room Shamar. There's a uh, drum out here. Ouch. All right, let's 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 go ahead and just rapid fire this one. That fickle gill, sure not great for us, isn't it? Something chirps, chirps to the southeast. Okay, this, these guys are kind of a issue. I'll grab some books. We may as well. We're going to the stilt anyway. Dromad Caravan. Very nice. Alright, let's check out the Dromad Caravan real quick. Smoky Tube. Could be nice. They also, I think, have a rocket launcher. We could grab their other tubes as well. I also have a great great coiler. What is it with like, oh, I haven't been wearing my boots. Every single like Dromad Caravan I've come across or seller in general has had a great gate recoiler. Has, uh, has great gate been like branching out? Are they, are they starting to like, you know, are they a chain now? Are they gonna become like the McGriddles? Uh, all right, um, we're, we're leaving. I'm going back to the stilt. Truly, this is not 
Not ideal. I've already had to cure a, a disease. The fact that it has to, had to be fickle, I just... That's just such a bummer. Um, alright. We're gonna trade, because they're gonna have the corpus. And I'm gonna go ahead and read that. And we're looking at fickle gill. Glot rot. Fungal. Fickle gill. Anti-fungal cream must be conco concocted from gel, desalinated slime, and primordial soup. Not the not the worst one, but raw null worm corpse. Oof. I'm pretty sure there is one in Gritgate. Pretty sure. Primordial soup. That's not a bad. That's not. That's not too difficult. So I'm gonna have to find myself a desalinating slime. I, I'm gonna check again with the slinth because I'm. I'm sh I swear to God, there's there there must be a quest with the slinth and I just didn't get it or something. Uh, what is a hydropon? What are slinth? What is a hydropon? Uh, within grow slinth only slinth now. Where is it? Cracked egg from we crawl yet rest in the reef. Siblings there, one speak very well. Tha. Um, so I'm, speak to, I'm supposed to speak to Tha. Did I not speak to Tha? I, I thought, is she just like, maybe she's not a, um, or they uh, are not actually a important person. Like they don't count as an important person. That would be a bummer. That would mean I'd have to look each of them up. Um, so I think I have to talk to it. Um, Apothecarist, but we're gonna t talk to this person here and they might have yeah They just sell us gel so we don't have to bother with the des desalination So we'll go ahead and grab this. We'll also look at their painted glass Nice nice painted glass. Let's go ahead and put our boots on before I forget again AV 14 not bad um, okay, so we have desalination slime, uh, yeah, we have the gel, so now we need to, um, hold on, we're gonna, we're gonna need to identify a bunch of this stuff, first of all. Sphinx salt injector, not bad. Fidget cell, eh. Pass its cell by date, there's a desalination pellet. That's actually not good. I, I thought what I was buying was the spray bottle. So I'm pretty sure these are the spray bottles. And there's a violet tube, so let's check that out as well. Let's also check out a couple, maybe buy a, a couple of uh, these. I am run, like rapidly running out of money, so we'll go ahead and be a bit conservative here. Let's sell a glow sphere. Uh, and then let's sell a floating glow sphere as well. All right, I just want to make sure I always have like an abundance of, of money. Love injector, hey, that's something we can use. There's the spray bottle. Okay, so we're gonna have to go. First of all, we first of all we have to go and find ourselves a null worm corpse. Not an easy feat, to be honest. I'm pretty sure there's one at Gritgate. So let's go ahead and go to Gritgate. Hungry and moist. Same. It's very hot in Toronto. <laughs> oh yeah, we had a sparkling sparking betel. What did you want? Five portions of congealed love. Well, I mean, that's not bad, except for the fact that that's awful. Um, can we get items here? What? Uh, it's not going to tell us about corpses. That's, like, what we need right now. Segmented mirthworm, segmented mirthworm. Oh, you know what? Might be better if we went to the Jopa Crack because I'm pretty sure I fought quite a lot of null worm corpses, or f I fought a lot of null worms there. Shouldn't be too far from here. We can we can check that out. I mean, I can check these out, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of centipede corpses, human corpse, centipede, giant centipede, giant centipede. If you don't know, I'm uh, using the top right corner 
Um, it shows you what's nearby to, uh, f to find out what's nearby. <laughs> Apparently nothing cares about corpses, so... Uh, those are all going to be Mirthworm corpses uh, on the top right there. So we're going to go to Jopa Crack. What do you mean we've contracted Fickle Gill again? Oh my god, really? It just had to be Fickle Gill, didn't it? Why did it have to be Fickle Gill? Why? Why? Oh, Lord! <laughs> Steve Carell saying no for about five years it's just oh my god it had to be fickle gill and we had a 75 percent chance of not contracting a fic, uh, a fungal infection and it just noped it's just sorry dude you have a fungal infection and you're gonna have to deal with that you're dang right i guess Okay, we're going through here because I'm pretty sure I did fight quite a lot of uh, no worms. Uh, unfortunately, it is not a 100% chance of uh, a, a corpse dropping, so we're going to have to check every single one of these. How did you survive the onslaught, dog corpse? Oh, God. I just, I just can't believe this right now, honestly. Snapjaw. Uh. Giant amoeba corpse. What is this? Dog corpse. Um, snapjaw. Snapjaw. Dog. Snapjaw. Dog. <laughs> snapjaw. It was either here or it might have been the ruin. I kind of really hope it's not the ruin. Um, oh man. Bat. Dog. <laughs> oh god. I just, uh, it's just, uh, it's gonna be faster to click, honestly. Snapjaw. Uh, snapjaw. Have to check every corpse. Snapjaw. Snapjaw. Um, snap jaw, right? Yeah, snap jaw. There's so many snap jaw corpses. I don't need snap jaw. Human. What's going on here? Snap jaw again. You're famished. Vine weave tunic. Nice. Um, nothing here. Snap jaw. Oh boy. This is like quite, quite the adventure we're on, isn't it? Snap jaw, snap jaw, centipede. Snap jaw, centipede. Snapjaw. I'm not gonna. There's, there's no no norm, is there? It might be that in that ruin I was going to was the where the snap the no worms I'm actually thinking of. Nice that it has a little pop up, so I can see what it is. Um, Snapjaw. Please, please, I need the, I need a no worm, please, no, no worm, please, there's no no worm here, centipede, oh god, have I actually gone up the staircase, no I haven't, we're famished, we're starving, we're hungry, we're, we're moist, Oh, uh, my kingdom. My kingdom for a gnoll worm corpse. Why did it have to be gnoll worms? I guess I'll take gnoll worms over seed. Um, what is it? Seed somethings? This is a giant amoeba. Giant centipede. Giant centipede. Why are we walking all the way around there? 
<sighs> Crab corpse. Oh, we should turn butcher off. I'm, I'm glad I'm like figuring this out now. Where is uh, toggle butcher? Uh, I came but butcher corpse is toggled off. No. Did I did I toggle it off? I did. Okay. Cuz like that would be absolutely the I don't think you can. Yeah, you can actually. You can butcher um no worm corpses. I believe you can uh um you can uh, butcher them into skull. Because you can you can get a null worm skull and null worm skulls are are quite nice but um, not not what we need. So if we accidentally butchered a null worm, that would uh, be absolutely the worst. So there is our um, ancient bones with our pickaxe. Null worm, yo, please, my dude, please. Snapjaw. Oh my god. Bat corpse. I almost, for a second there, I thought I saw an old worm. This is one of those episodes where you're gonna wish I had um, maybe done a time lapse, but no. Y'all said no. No time lapse. I want to see the process. You're seeing the process. It's me checking every single corpse until I see a old worm, maybe. Um, you might be really annoyed with me because perhaps uh, it was the ruin that I was thinking of that had the null worms in it and not actually the sna the the crack the Jopa crack that's fair so might be I want to go to grit gate actually giant centipede snapjaw a lot of snapjaws snapjaw Snapjaw, snapjaw, a lot of snapjaws. Snapjaw, and I don't know. Corpse. I don't have a lot to say either because I have, I have to like pay attention to make sure I don't like it. You know, this is not a it's it's not a high chance that this happens, right? It's a pretty low chance that a corpse drops, so we just kind of have to pray, you know. Pray that I, I already found it. Because I recall I fought quite a lot of norms. But I'm thinking it is in that ruin. So let's go ahead and go to Grit Gate. This episode's going to run long. Because I don't... I, I, I really like. I, I just want to find the norm corpse. And then I can, you know, say, well, that's good enough. We'll end the episode there. Oh, maybe, maybe just this path would be it. Segment no, I'm pretty sure I already checked this These are like all human centipedes and mirthworms Yeah, pretty sure Okay, you're too famished that that makes sense famished All right, let's go back to the ruin and hope Okay, bat corpse, bloated leech corpse. I mean, that's something. Not a lot here. Not a lot here. It would show me on the map, even if I couldn't see it, that there is a corpse there or something. This is, okay, so... It wasn't here. Where was I fighting all those no worms? Man. Man, this sucks. This sucks so much. Notice some ruins nearby. All right. Well, I guess we're stuck with this now. Um, if I find a no worm corpse, then we can deal with our situation. But as it stands right now, you know, we're, we're kind of screwed. Really sucks. Really sucks there's nothing we can do about it either. 
like, um, you know, the nice, the good news is that if we do find the Nullworm Corpse, I can deal with both of my Fickle Gill at the same time. That's the good news, if you can call it that. But, you know, that's, that's not necessarily, that, that's a, that's a pretty flimsy silver lining. It's going to take us a while. It's going to take me uh, a while to find me a no alarm corpse. I'm not sure. Uh, I might look up the table, like the, the monster table of where they're most likely to hang out. And, uh, and then we can like go there and probably is just in ruins. I'm guessing it's just going to be in ruins. Oh, some nice stuff that I'm not going to pick up. Some good stuff here. I mean, we could just check out these ruins. But in any case, that's going to do it for this episode. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.